Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ronnie, back with another episode of Saturday Projects, and today we are going to upgrade the Y carriage on my 3D printer. I'm upgrading for two reasons. The first one being that the current Y carriage is actually not long enough for the heated bed. The company that I bought the original kit from had their own custom bed size, and I wasn't aware of this when I bought the printer. So when I upgraded to a heated bed, I had to actually design and print my own extensions in order for it to mount properly. The second reason is that the carriage is actually bending. If it was bending along this axis, like that, it wouldn't be so much of a big deal because you can level a bed in each corner. But because it's bending along a diagonal axis, the bearings are actually not true to each other, so it's not a smooth motion. So with the new Y carriage, it will fix all those problems. Let's get to work. So the process for this is really straightforward. All you have to do is unscrew the bolts in each corner, and after that, unhook the belt and slide off the carriage. Nothing to it. You can see with the original carriage, with all the components removed on the flat ground, when I press the corner, it goes up to one side, so you know that it's not flat. And with a new one, if you press on a corner, it stays perfectly flat, which is totally awesome. One important thing to note is that the belt holders for the carriage have different bolt patterns, so the original one can't be used. The new one requires a bit more length of belt, so to fix this issue, I printed off a new Y idler. It makes use of a smaller bearing as well as pushing it a little bit more forward just to get that extra belt length onto the clamp. So I have all of the hardware mounted up uh, very loosely, and I'll show you why in a second. And the reason I printed off new bearing brackets is because the original ones were just, they pretty much had it. They're easily flexible and they're not as secure as the bracket should be. So I'm gonna put the new ones in. I got bought a packet of 12 when I replaced the Z axis bearings. So I'm gonna install these and go and put it on the printer. The reason I left these loose is that if I were to tighten them down now, there would be a possibility that they wouldn't be perfectly in line with each other. So if I put them on now, I can line them up perfectly and then tighten them down so I know they're actually straight and true. Okay, they are tightened down enough to where I can take the carriage off and tighten them down fully. And after the belt's installed, all that's left now is just reassembly. The last part now is just the tedious task of leveling the bed. Once that's done, I print off another one of those test cubes to make sure everything's working smoothly. Alrighty, the test cube came out awesome. But as a better example of what this printer can do, I printed off the front and back shell of the original series Star Trek Phaser. It came out really awesome. I think it's safe to say at this point my printer is no longer in the realm of shittiness. It's more or less on par with an original Prusa Mark II. The only difference is that I don't have auto bed leveling. Plus it's pretty cool that I designed some of the parts that are actually on the printer. Even though it's just a white eyeler in the X and Z instops, it's still pretty cool. 
All that's really left now is just to get a new piece of glass that's the right length for the bed. Oh, and possibly clean the workspace. Thank you.